Good day everyone, Ace here from Ace of Space Astro Photography and in today's video I'd like to show you um, the test I did. Um, I, I used the um, um, Orion Nebula and Running Man Nebula. So my test was I bought um, um, the, the uh, ASI 071 MC Pro that from my ZWO, their uh, color camera. Um, and I brought and I bought um, UV IR cut filter and I also bought the Optolong Alpro uh, light pollution uh, filter. So I did a test to see if in my Bortle 4 skies if the light pollution, light pollution filter would work. Sorry if I sound a little congested. I've got a really, really bad uh, cold. <coughs> I'm uh, down in the basement in my computer room all by myself and um, I don't want to go near my family just in case I have the COVID-19. I just feel like uh, crap, got a fever, um, <coughs> cough, um, all stuffed up. So I have all the symptoms, but I don't know. I haven't been tested, so I don't know when I'm not going to go anywhere and get tested unless I get really bad. But right now I feel like shit and I have a fever of uh, 100 degrees. So, um, <coughs> All right, so let's get started here. Enough about me. All right, so I'll show you what one single picture out of the camera it looks like. So this is with the UV IR filter and over here is with the um, Optolong uh, L-Pro filter and as you can see the L-Pro filter is way cleaner than the UV IR filter so that proves to me right there that it it does help in my Bortle Force guys. So anyways um, I have a neighbor across the road he has a really really bright light and uh, it just happened when I did these two tests that that light was on. So, <clears throat> as you can see, you're not getting as much uh, nebulosity as you are over here with the uh, L Pro filter. It it it's not too bad for uh, one one uh, one minute exposure. <coughs> All right. So, <coughs> sorry about that. I shouldn't really be doing this video, but I got nothing else to do. Sorry for all the coughing and stuff. All right, so now here's uh, here's what the pictures look like stacked. So here's the L Pro filter, and here's the UV IR filter. All right, so this is all. So I took sixty uh, one minute exposures. <coughs> Excuse me, I um for the for the test for both of these. So. This is how it comes out of the camera, and you can see the light pollution gradient here. But we can fix this right now. We just um, just need to go to processes, all processes, and it will go into a screen transfer function. All right, so we'll do the UV uh, IR filter one first. So basically, all you do is highlight it, unlink the colors, and then Take the um, auto stretch off and make sure it's unlinked and then redo the auto stretch and then that gradient disappears. All right, so now we'll do the, uh, the stacked one for the uh, L-Pro filter. So just turn the auto stretch off, make sure it's unlinked and redo the auto stretch. There we go. So you'll notice here that the frames didn't line up very well, and that took me three nights to get these hundred uh, to get these uh, sorry sixty uh, uh, sixty sixty uh, second exposures here. It took me three nights, I think, with the L Pro filter, and in the uh, this one, it, it only took me the one night because uh, the clouds uh, cooperated. There were no clouds, so that was really nice. All right, so. I don't know about you, but I think the L Pro filter wins here again. You can see way more nebulosity, and the background is way is darker too. You can see a lot more luminosity here than you can here, and the colors are way way better. You see a lot more dark structures here than you can over on this one. 
All right, so now I'll show you what the uh, final images look like after I um, processed them, and I did this exact same processing in PixInsight. So let's go with the UVIR filter here. There we go. All right. Not bad. There's some uh, defects in here. The, I'm not too fussy on the background either. <clears throat> but you're getting some nebulosity coming through. And you can see the uh, the core of M42. HDR multi-scale transform takes care of that. All right. Now let's go over for the Optolong filter here. And this one turned out, I think, amazing for actually shooting through uh, my glass patio window. This turned out really good. No, nope, wrong one. Come on, there we go. All right. Look at all the nebulosity, and you can see all the dust that's around uh, M42 in uh, the colors of the Running Man Nebula turned out really well. But I think uh, the nebulosity here for... Uh, 60 uh, one minute exposures. I think this turned out quite well, especially for shooting through the glass patio doors. Actually, turned out quite well. I was really impressed. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. All right, so uh, enough of that. And uh, hopefully, uh, it's supposed to be clear tonight. So, hopefully, I can get some more uh, uh, exposures of the uh, Ryan and uh, Running Man Nebula. And I'll show you what my uh, picture once I got at least, uh, I want to get at least four or five more hours of uh, exposures and add it to it and see what it actually comes out like. And of course, I'll use the uh, Alpro filter. So, thanks for watching. And I hope everybody stays safe. Ace out. Thank you.